Hi dolls, it's me, Ellie Diamond, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I'm going to be doing an intergalactic space princess out of this world fantasy sort of thing. So make sure you subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also, if you want to see anything specific from me in the future, make sure to leave it in the comments below. Make sure you're following me on all my social medias, they'll be linked at the top of the description. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh, right, okay. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to block our eyebrows. I have no say in blocking eyebrows because I just sort of slap it on and hopefully it, it, the eyebrows won't pop through but I've linked a tutorial at the top of this description if you don't know how to do eyebrows and are a bit confused about it then watch that video because that's how I learned but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna map out our cut crease so I take this little shadow and I plop it just in this corner here and make sure they're even on both sides and that gives me my first mark okay that's my first mark next is I know that my liner is gonna go up like this so I want my shadow to end roughly about here so I'll pop a little bit there, just so I can see where the shadow's gonna end. And then what I do is, I usually bring my <laughs> eyeshadow up pretty far. So I will plop a little bit just in, just about here, yeah. And then all I do is I go around it and I fill in the gaps. Then we go in with eyebrows. So what I do is I take a little eyebrow brush and make sure it's very pointy. And then I go in with my contour stick from Primark and it's in Rich Espresso. So it's one of the darkest shades. I put a little bit of that on the brush. And then I just go in and map my eyebrows. Now, I really like to have my eyebrows quite angular, but then also quite soft. So we're gonna start here. So I'm gonna do a little line going straight up. I usually follow my eyebrow line roughly, but more exaggerated. I like that very exaggerated look, sort of cartoon. Well, very cartoon-like. And then I usually just go straight, right across where I've glued my eyebrow. And I usually like to have this line and that line parallel to each other. I'm just gonna leave it there. But that is my rough eyebrow shape. But I'm gonna do the other one quickly off camera and we'll be back to do foundation. Okay, so the next thing that I do is I conceal around the eyebrows underneath and on top. And what I like to use is I like to use a, a cream white from Snazaroo. So I like to take it and what I do is I just go underneath the eyebrow and conceal around it. So then what I do just to further this highlight under the eyebrow is I take my beauty sponge. So I'll just take a little bit and I'm just going to pat it on the back of my hand just to sort of pick up some of the product so I'm not lifting anything off the eyebrow and I'm just sort of uh, setting it down a bit more. So I'll take it and I'll just go straight up to the line of this eyebrow. Okay, so now what I like to do is I like to conceal around the top of the eyebrow and bring some of the product up just so there's enough there that I won't have to worry about um, blending over the top of the eyebrow once I start doing my foundation. Ta-da! Like that, take some more product up and then just blend this up and out. It, since we're doing such a bright colourful look today, I'm going to go in with the um, flash, the fake flash palette, um, and I, I'm just going to go in with the pink shade, sort of purpley shade in this palette, but the pink shade from the palette, and um, I can still sort of see the faint line where I'm going to be doing my cut crease. I'm just going with my finger for this one. I learned this trick off of watching Blue Hydrangea's tutorials on her YouTube, so if you want to know how to do it properly, <laughs> go watch her videos. So now we're going to go in with foundation. I again go in with my Primark stick. This is in shade Ivory. I'm pretty sure I already said that, but if I haven't. So I just take this foundation and I just go everywhere with it. So I just go in and I just like to sponge this all out. Mm. 
Okay, so now that I've got all my foundation on, I do look a bit kooky and spooky at the moment, but I'm gonna go in with some contour. Again, I take the same contour, Rich Espresso from Primark, and I just take a tiny bit of this because this is very dark. Just take a tiny little bit, maybe two swipes here, and then I just like to dot it around my forehead. For me personally, I like to go in with a brush for to do my contour. I feel like I can just get a better blend with it. And I don't know, I've used sponges before, but I found out a brush really works well for me. I just like to take my foundation, sometimes I smile, and I'll take it and I'll just tap blend it. It looks like I'm swiping, but I'm just doing tapping motions when I am blending this. So I'm quickly going to do the rest of my contour off camera and we'll be back to do some highlight. Okay, so now that I've gone in with my contour, I've completely contoured my face. I haven't done my nose yet because I do my highlight of my nose first. So I just go back in with the clown white and I'm just going to go in and highlight. So I'm just going to go in and blend that, uh, again taking the little side of the sponge that I use for my highlights and I like to go in, we're just going to go up here and blend this in. And then I like to pinch the sponge really tight so you can get right up in here. So we're going to go back in with the brush that we used for our eyebrows because that is like the smallest brush I have um, and we're just going to take some more product on this brush but what I found works for me now is if I map where I'm going to do them first like how I mapped how to do my cut crease beforehand I map where I'm going to do my nose contour so I'll put a little dot I do little dots so I'll put a little dot up here boop a little dot here boop and then go in the middle boop Boop. I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to go here, match up this line and then match it up to where the bottom is. So to blend this together I like to use a fluffy brush and I'll take it and I'll just dip it into whatever white I have left. I don't really want that much product on but I still want enough to blend these shadows together. And then I'll go in and further contour this nose. Okay, so we've blended the brown, but we, I still want a really strong highlight um, over my nose. So we're going to go back in with that little brush that we've got. And I just like to go straight here and I just want to go and then contour that down. So I'm going to go back in with that little fluffy brush and we're just going to swipe it up. We're just going to tap blend again like we did with our contour tap blend. And we're going to swipe that up. Once I've done that, I then go in with this highlighter again. Not putting any more on the sponge, but I'll just go in and highlight that so that looks all bright. And okay, so now that I've completely blended my nose contour, I've gone back over everything and made sure everything is well blended, I'm going to go in with my powders. So I take a very big powder puff, and what I go in is I just go in with baby powder, but I decide to go in, and first of all, I'll do the eyebrows because that is what has been waiting the longest. And I'll go in and plop that all over. Okay, so now I just take a big fluffy brush and just brush it off. Okay, so since I've powdered everything, everything is looking a bit pale and there's not really much colour going on at the moment with the contours, so I'm going to go in with a bronzer any bronzer will do and it's just to bring back some life into the skin and then what I go into contour with is I go in with nip and fab I like to mainly focus this within this little triangle that I've created here so I just like to go in 
with, uh, I just mix these two shades together, scrub them together. Sometimes I tap the excess off, sometimes I don't. Okay, so now I go in with my blush. And what I do here is I like to smile and I like to see where the apples on my cheeks are and I'll start there with the lightest part. Okay, so before we go into eyeshadows, I'm just going to put a heavy, heavy layer of white powder. This is, again, just the baby powder, but we're gonna put a heavy powder underneath my eyes. So the eyeshadow palette we're going to go in today with is the Alyssa Edwards by Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. We're first of all just going to be taking the pink shade which is called Texas Made and I'm just going to be putting that into the crease. Just making sure that the colour um, is very well packed upon the crease because we're going to blend it out. So this is well packed on I feel. I'm gonna go back in with this little brush, taking the white shade from the palette, which is called Headliner. And I'm just gonna be taking this and blending over the shadow that we've already put down. And this is just gonna further help the blend between the pink and the white. Okay, so since the outfit and the wig that I'm using are pinks and purples, I kinda wanna focus the purples a lot more on the eyes. So we're gonna be going in with Believe from the palette, that is just the bright purple shade, on a fluffy brush called Hunty by What A Drag. So I've just gone back and forth and back and forth with that shadow to really intensify that blend up on these colors. I'm gonna go back in with Texas Made and just intensify the pink a little bit more. I get really bored doing one thing at a time, so I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows just now, and I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows, give them a little bit of a shape, and define them a little bit more. So we're still gonna go in with the Alyssa Edwards palette for the eyebrows, and I'm gonna go in to the black shadow called Beast, and I'm just gonna do the tail of my eyebrows. So I like to take it, and I go in with the black quite high. I'm not going to bring the black up all this way, but I like to bring the black up quite, um, quite low down here. And that, and I also just I'll ombre that in a little bit. Blend this little bit up here. So I've just gone back over the brow, cleaned up everything that I kind of like, and I'm, I'm, I'm just added some of these little hair strokes just to make it a bit more cartoon-like and really define the brows a lot more. So I'm very happy with how much shadow that I've got going on here at the moment. So I'm gonna go in and cut my crease again with that white cream. This is something that I have one eye perfect and the other eye is very uneven. So I like to do it in steps yet again. So I'm gonna take it, make sure that, um, I do a little point here. Like remember at the beginning, I'm sort of mapping that back out again. So I'm just gonna go in and fill all that in with that white. Okay, so now that I have the desired eye shape that I want for my cut crease, I'm going to go back in with the Alyssa Edwards palette. I'm going to use the white shade headliner and I'm just going to pop that all over this eye and set her down. Oh, queen. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our black liquid liner. I like to use the collection liner. Um, it's literally like, I don't even know how much it is. It's very cheap anyways. So I'm just going to start a little line from the edge of my eye. I'm going to bring it up to reach my eyebrows. And I like to elongate the inner corner a lot. So I'll take it just from where it naturally would sit. And then bring a little bit back up just to match the inner corner of my eye. And now I put where I want the highest part of my liner to be, which I kind of wanted to be there today. I changed this a lot as well. I changed the shape of my eye a lot as well. And then I'll bring it down to match where this line is. 
do with some little steps and then from I don't go straight from that point because I want that to tail off so I'll go just about halfway of this line and that line here and I'll connect the two together so you see that is where that that swoop is going to be so I take it and I just go in here just wherever it is and I'll do that little line I'll make that line the thinnest point I want that to be really really thin and I'll look up so I can see where my natural fold of my lid sits so that is the shape of my liner that I do so my phone is currently dying I'm using my phone to film so I'm gonna charge my phone for a little bit but I'm gonna fill in this liner and I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and we'll be back with both eyes completed to do the under eyes and finishing touches okay so I've done the other eye off camera and I have also forgot to start filming but I've done some of the under eyes again with the Alyssa Edwards palette in Texas made I've also added some black up in this corner up just in here just to deepen it a little bit just to make it a bit more sultry and a bit more sexy so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna going to go underneath the eye and we are going to put some white underneath there just to really get that very intensified white under the under the eye so also what I love to do is once I've gone underneath the eyes I'm just going to make sure that I I'm happy with everything I like to put some lines up here just to really intensify that liner make it really sharp i also like to elongate it on the outer portion as well so i'm just going to take a little bit and i'm just going to drag it out so after i have done the white under my eyes i go back in with my white powder from the Alyssa edwards palette and i'm just going to set all of that and then i'm going to go back through and do some finishing touches on the white okay so now that i'm finished with my eyes i'm just going to go back in and touch up on the blush so I'm going to go in with this highlighter from Revolution and it's called Set the Tone. It's the white highlight that they have. And this is just like, ah, it's everything. I love it so, so, so much. And I'm just going to go in with that. And just do some on the cheeks. I like to take a little bit, just a tiny bit. And I just like to fill it in on here because I feel like that sort of gives me that very dull like shiny plastic sort of look so what i like to do with my lips is i really like to have that really pointed edge at the edge of the lips and then coming into like a really big pouty lip so watch me here okay i do an x here because then that is where that line is going to meet the two here so i just take the brush here and carve it down into that point. And now what I do, since it's a very like Marlon Monroe trick, she had an outer point and then she had really big juicy lips. So all I do here is I take it from this edge where this little line is here, starting right there. And I'll take it and I'll just meet up the other side. So I'm going in with the Revolution Liquid Lipstick in Keep Crying For You and this is like a really bright pink. Like look at that. Love that. So I'm just going in with that. I'm going to fill in my lips with that, okay? Okay, so that is the makeup done. I'm going to go off camera, do some lashes and finishing touches, put some rhinestones on the nose and I'll be back with a finished look. And there you go this is the finished look i really hope you guys enjoyed this intergalactic space girl princess look i am obsessed if you guys want to know where i got this outfit from or where i got this hair from make sure to check out my instagram post on ellie diamond official also if you recreate this look i'm not sure if anyone's going to but if you do make sure to tag me on instagram i would love to see what you guys come up with and if you like, it is a struggling time for drag queens out there, if you like, my PayPal is going to be in the link of my Instagram and it's also going to be at the top of the description. I really hope you dolls enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!